want to share your personal information even to a stranger, just like sharing a selfie picture in public social platform, like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You have nothing to hide because you are a good person. But what if something bad happens and malicious persons get your information without your knowledge? Is it still up with you? Will you not freak out when someone is surveilling you but not on your own free will? With the high dangers of human surveillance, our legislators tried to solve this problem. Now comes the data privacy laws taking place. But what is this data privacy? Why is it important? To give you a glance how data privacy enters the Philippines, let me tell you its brief history. Privacy is not a very new concept because it touches more on territorial or locational privacy. In principle, it means that a person cannot come unannounced or it break open to search someone's house without a warrant or notice. The term privacy evolved more when Justice Louis Brandes and attorney Samuel Warren wrote in their article in which they defined the right to privacy as the right to be let alone. It is the foundation of the individual freedom. In the modern age, and the law should recognize the importance of this right. Fast forward in 1980, with the emerging possibility of massive data traversing in international borders, it is now necessary to regulate the transborder data flow. The OICT, or Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, formulate the 1980 guidelines on the protection of privacy and transborder flows of personal data. The main objective of OICT about data protection is, first, effective national measures for the protection of privacy and individual liberties. Second, avoidance of practices involving unfair discrimination between individuals. Third, basis for continued international cooperation and compatible procedures in any regulation of transborder flows of personal data. A major transition in the privacy laws take into effect when in 1995 when for the very first time the European Union passed the Directive 9546 ec This directive laid down the very framework for each EU member nations for inter-country personal data transfer flow and regulation for processing and securing personal data. However, in May 25 of 2018, a more stringent privacy law was passed in Europe, the deeper or general data protection rule. This privacy law widened its jurisdiction because it provides a set of standards for data protection laws across all member countries, making it easier for you citizens to understand how their data is being used. Also, how to raise any complaints even if, if they are not in the country where their information. For this reason, the Philippines need to cope up with these emerging laws. That is why in 2012 the Republic Act 10173, or the Philippine Data Privacy Act of 2012 was passed. It was authored by the late Senator Edgardo Ingara in his principal speech. He says that Data Privacy Act makes it mandatory for all the collectors, whether in public or private, to protect the security, integrity, and confidentiality of all personal information they collect. By doing this, we help usher in a truly knowledge driver economy. In the year of 2016, the National Privacy Commission was created as the independent body mandated to administer and implement the Philippine Data Privacy Act and to monitor and ensure compliance of the country with international standards set for personal data protection. To better serve the Filipinos, the National Privacy Commission or NAC has six functions and mandated to do the following. First, rulemaking. The commission shall develop, promulgate, review, or amend rules and regulations for the effective implementation of the act. Second, Advisory, the Commission shall be the advisory body on matters. Effective protection of personal data. Third, public education. The Commission shall undertake necessary or appropriate efforts to inform and educate the public or data privacy data protection and fair information rights and responsibilities. Fourth, compliance and monitoring. The Commission shall perform compliance and monitoring functions to ensure effective implementation of the Act. Fifth, complaints and investigations. The Commission shall adjudicate on complaints and investigations on matters affected personal data. And sixth, enforcement the commission shall perform all acts as may be necessary to effectively implement the act, these rules, and its other issuances, and to enforce its orders, resolutions, or decisions, including the imposition of administrative sanctions, fines, or penalties. Now, since the Philippine Data Privacy Act was fully enforced when its implementing rules and regulation was promulgated last of August of 20, 16. Every organization doing business in the Philippines must need to comply, ensuring that they are implementing proper security measures when processing and handling personal data. On my next video, I will explain some important terms under the Philippine Data Privacy Act, so always stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe on this channel. Your support will give me the motivation to create more educational videos. As always, thank you for watching Dream Media.